How does this audio sound to you? Pretty normal, right? I'm not using my Shure SM7B, I'm using this little mic that I got for free. I didn't even want it, I was buying stuff on Amazon and there was like a weird promotional thing where I could get this mic for free, and I was like, well why not? I can make a video out of it. So here it is. Okay, we're going back to the Shure SM7B now. The Samore Wave U1 is a USB condenser mic with a super cardioid pickup pattern a 48 kilohertz sample rate, and a 24-bit dynamic range. It connects via USB-C and has a headphone port for monitoring on its cable, as well as a USB-A to C converter for more plugging options. There's a dial on the front for adjusting volume on the fly, and according to the Amazon listing, it has a built-in shock mount, which we will put to the test. And the company says that it's perfect for streamers on its Amazon listing. And on Amazon, you can get the black version for $22, the white version for $17, and if you use a special promotion via small rig, you can get it for free if you spend over $100. Though when I got it, I only had to spend 20 for some reason. Or maybe it was 50, I don't remember. But it was less than 100 about a week ago. Now, let's test this mic. I've turned off all the filters I was using and now I'm speaking into the front of the Samore Wave 1 USB microphone from about six inches away. Now I'm about one foot away from the Samore Wave U1 USB microphone. Now I'm about three feet away from the Samore Wave U1 USB microphone. And now I'm basically kissing the Samore Wave U1 USB microphone. That was unpleasant. <laughs> now to test the cardioid pickup pattern, here's the front of the mic, moving around to the side of the mic, which we'll talk here for a second, moving around to the back of the mic. And now we'll go to the other side of the mic. Hello, I am on the other side of the mic now. Back to the front of the mic. How does that all sound? If it sounds about the same, this is not a real super cardioid pickup pattern, or the mic is just very sensitive. Now we're doing a background noise test with a fan set to high. I'm talking with the fan in the background just a little bit more. There's some kitties over there, nice. And now we'll test the shock mount. I'm gonna just bang on my desk a little bit. If you just hear the thudding sound, then the shock mount is working. If you hear like a weird echo sound, then it is not. I'm pretty sure the shock mount actually works. Last, we'll do an instrument test with my ocarina. Now we've applied a noise gate back to the mic, you'll probably hear a lot less background noise now. Here's a very simple three band equalizer that's included in OBS Studio. And now we've added the compressor from OBS Studio with very minimal tweaking. I have some thoughts and we'll use the mic to talk about them. This microphone is very sensitive. Like no matter how much I adjust the gain dial, if I am closer than six inches away from the mic, it gets peaky and really, really crunchy and not good. The Wave u one sensitivity also picks up pretty much any breathing that you make, so no like mouth sounds will be left to the imagination. So you may want to follow in Tazon Day's footsteps and move away from the mic to breathe. <sighs> The dial on the front also makes almost no sense. There's no indication whatsoever for what your gain is. Obviously you can monitor it to check for yourself, but compare that to something like the Elgato Wave 1 where if you twist the dial, it gets brighter or dimmer to help you see what your gain is. The only indication that the light on the dial gives is that if you max out your gain, it starts blinking, and if you go to zero gain, it turns red to indicate muting. But otherwise, there's no change in between, or at least no discernible change in between. And it takes so many rotations to get from mute to max. The dial also makes so much noise. I would rather have no dial than one without discernible volume indication. Like, what if I accidentally bump the dial and change my volume? There's no way for me to know that I have the right settings. Like, I might have a noise gate tuned for a very particular volume level, and if I bump it up, then that ruins everything, especially with a sensitive mic like this. In other words, the dial actively makes this mic worse. Sound-wise, this mic is nowhere near perfect, but it's way better than I expected. It's a little bit muddy sounding by default, but with a bit of EQ and compression, you can easily fix that. I'm using OBS's built-in three-band equalizer to slightly lower my bass, significantly lower my rids, and slightly raise my highs. But you would get much better results from a more advanced EQ setup. But given how cheap and basic this mic is, I am going cheap and basic with my EQ too to be a better representation of how this mic will sound for you if you only have $20 to spend on a mic. 
However, this mic really isn't all bad, like it doesn't sound bad. I was even impressed by how good it sounded when I was playing my ocarina. And for speaking with some EQ and compression, it sounds perfectly fine, it's just... This mic is hard to use. If you talk a little bit too loud, a little bit too closely, it breaks so easily. Where something like the Elgato Wave 1, if you get in for that proximity effect, it does not break and distort. In terms of the build, I really like the tilting bass that it comes on. It's not particularly useful, but given how cheap the mic is, that's a weirdly premium feature to have. Another weirdly premium feature is the cable. Like, I've never had a mic where the cable was contoured to fit into a slot on the mic. It's really clean looking. It's also such a good idea to put the 3.5mm headphone jack on the cable. And the shock mount works! I was not expecting that. I thought that was legitimately going to be false advertising, but it actually works. Not as well as something like the Shure SM7B's shock mount, but way, way better than a $20 mic has any right to have. In short, the mic has a surprisingly good sound for its price point, and has some weirdly premium features despite the glaring issues like the extreme sensitivity and the really poorly designed dial. Given that this mic is called the Wave U1 and is targeted for streamers, we should probably compare it to what it's clearly trying to compete against. The Elgato Wave 1, which is weirdly hard to get now. We'll do a quick comparison between these mics without any EQ or filters, both about 6 inches away from my mouth. Obviously the Elgato's gonna be a better mic, but it's pretty good to compare. Here's a quick little palette cleanser with my Shure SM7B, and now let's get to comparing. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, one hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pair of Donald Veers tweezers, seven thousand warriors in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, five corpulent porpoises, six pair of Donald Vers tweezers, seven thousand warriors in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine sympathetic, apathetic, diabetic old men on roll skates with a fine propensio of procrastination sloth, ten spherical, lyrical, diabolical denizens of the deep while holst around the quo and key of the quay all at the same time, nine sympathetic, apathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a fine propensio of procrastination and sloth, procrastination, 10 spherical, lyrical, diabolical denizens of the deep a holster around the quo and key of the quay all at the same time. And we're back to the Shure SM7B. Is the Simor Wave U1 USB condenser mic worth using? For $22 or even for free, this mic really isn't that bad. If you really need a mic, it'll get the job done. And it'll probably do the job pretty well as long as you know how to work around its limitations. Once you set your dial to the game that works for you, never touch it again, and never get too close to the mic itself because you're gonna get a horrible proximity effect. That said, with a good mic you shouldn't have to work around the limitations, I'm out of focus. If you have a budget higher than $20, get a better mic. If you really want a good affordable USB mic, I have two options that I always recommend. Either the Elgato Wave 1 or the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB Plus. They're both around $75 on Amazon right now, but they're just so much better. I like proximity effect, so I want a mic that can do that, and the Simor cannot. And I'd love to know, will you consider this mic? Is it even worth getting for you if it's free or as low as $20? If not, I'd love to know what you are using for audio. There are many more great mics out there than the Shure SM7B and the Elgato Wave series. This mic is not amazing and leaves a lot to be desired, but what it does well, it does surprisingly well, at least for $20. Looking for more tech content? If you want a head-to-head -head comparison between the Elgato Wave 1 and my $400 plus dollar audio setup, watch my comparison between between the Wave 1 and the Shure SM7B. Otherwise, leave a like, subscribe for more, watch that video next, and I'll see you next time. Happy creating!